In project three, we're going to be working with different types of links. Let me show you what I've gotten so far. I've got HTML links and I've got an H1 of useful web development links. Let's take a look at it. I haven't done any styling here yet. Everything here, these are just going in a line. This is not what I want to look like, but we're going to fix this all in just a minute. But I have some links in here. The links aren't completely working but you can sort of see that I've put in the links I'm going to have. So I'm going to show you how I'm putting in links. I'm at the last section. I don't really want you to watch me do a lot of typing. But again, I'm going to use Emmet, which is A for anchor. That's how we put in a link. And I'm going to do two links here, so times two. And I want them on different lines. So these two are going to go to my different web sources, and I've already found all these and opened them in the tabs. So I'm just going to type Pixabay, and my last one should be Wikipedia, Wikimedia Commons. It has all sorts of useful things that you can use. So I've gone through and I've created H2 tags for each of these. And then I have put in what I'm going to be linking to, but I haven't added the links. Let's look at, and they look like links because they're underlined, but let's look at how to make these look a little better. We're going to do that using an unordered list. So that's going to be an opening UL tag, and every opening tag gets a closing tag. And I'm going to put the closing tag right here at the bottom. So these are inside. Now that's made everything tab in, but these aren't on different lines yet. So I'm going to surround each of these with a list, opening and closing tag. And this is where copy and paste comes in handy. And I can just put the closing tag on each one here. And you're getting, I'm getting errors that they're red because I haven't got my opening tag in yet. So I'm just going to add this to each line because I want these all to be list items inside of lists. Oops, I don't need it on the H2s, just on the anchors. And I can work my way back up this side. Get rid of the slash because this is an opening tag. and put this at the front of each one. Now they aren't working completely right yet because they aren't in an ordered or unordered list. Okay, so that looks good. Now I need to add my unordered list tags here. Make sure the closing goes at the end. Add an unordered list tag here. Oops, I don't want capitals. I accidentally hit my all caps. And then take my closing tag. and put it at the end. UL, I'm hitting tab. That's using Emmet to put in the full tag. And there, that looks better. We'll do some more styling on it in a little bit. But now I have lists of links. Now for the links, every link has the format of an anchor. That's what gives you the underline here, and the hypertext reference, and then the text that will display. So my hypertext reference, and this is my HTML color codes, it's right here. So when you're putting in links, the best thing to do is actually go out to the web and paste the actual link. That avoids errors because then you know that it works. So I've got my eyedropper. And then I 
want Adobe Color. And obviously I spent some time getting this ready so that you didn't have to watch me searching the internet. Some of these are really long. This is why you definitely want to, I think I can just use adobecolor.com. Yeah, that's a cleaner, uh, it does work. So let's just paste that. We're gonna do Control Z here, Control V, and just do color.com. Sometimes they get a little long. And I'll fast forward it by putting the rest of these in. Okay, so I have now added all of the actual links. So if I were to test these, they should work. So after lynda.com, I've got an extra dot, so I've got to check that one here. Something useful, you can use control find in here, and so if I want to find lynda.com, I can figure out why I have an extra. I may just need to refresh. Nope. So lynda.com. Oh, because I have an extra LI right here. That's giving me my extra bullet. That's better. Okay, so this looks okay. We're going to add some styles to the top now because the styles will make it look better. So I can add a styles section and I can do things like style all of my H1 and I would put in a curly bracket and I would type color green text align center. Now for this to take effect I'm probably going to have to save this Oh, that's because this should be style, not styles. But you'll notice that when I save, it tells me that I have errors in here. So you should always start by fixing the first error, and that fixed it. Okay, so that's green. I may want my H2 tags to be color. And here you'll notice that this picks up all of the different colors that are available. And I can just select one that I like here. In fact, I don't really like that green particularly. I'm going to choose dark sea green. Uh, that's really probably not dark enough. And that's the nice thing is once you see it, you can put that back in. I want something really fairly dark here. So let's try the forest green. That looks almost identical to me, but we'll just make sure that they're the same by making this forest green. Okay, now we know they're the same because they're the same color. Now, I want the H2 tags to come in a little bit from the side. The way you would do that is by doing padding left, because I want padding on the left-hand side, and I'm going to put in a number of pixels, and I'm going to put in 16px. That looks pretty good. I just don't like it when it touches the side. Now let's work with our unordered lists. So we can have our unordered list, and we can do list, style, type, and you could also put a picture in there. And then I don't really like the squares. I'm going to have a disk. Pardon my semicolon and save. Eh, that didn't really make much of a difference. Let's try something else. Uh, 
Let's try a circle. There we go. I like those. Okay, so that just changed my list styles here. Now, typically you're going to have links be underlined, but we can make some <coughs> style changes on our links as well. So our links are all A or anchor tag. So when we change them, we're going to use our A. And let's say that we want to use with green, um, let's do brown links. So we're going to do color. Okay, we can do text decoration, none. That gets rid of the under, underline, makes it look a little cleaner. I want to make my font size a little larger. In fact, I want to change the font on the whole body. And when I'm styling, I really do go back and forth. And so I like to typically have my body style at the top. And so I'm going to do font, family, and I'm just going to use sans serif. That's easier to read on the screen. Currently, it's serif where we have the little lines like you can see in the L here and the, the K. And a sans serif gets rid of those, and it makes things a little clearer. And for this page, I'm actually going to want the font size to be a bit bigger. So I'm going to do 120%. That's just 20% larger than the normal 100%. See how much easier it is to read? So I've gotten some good things in here. Now right now these are links but typically if you don't underline links you should have them change color when you roll over them. So we're going to do an A hover which means that when we hover over it then we want our text decoration to go back through to underline and that makes it so if we hover over that helps people know that they're links and then we're going to change that text color too. And we'll have something a little bit brighter than the brown. We'll do coral. So now if we hover over these, and notice we're not counting on just the color to tell people it's a link. The color changes, but for some people that might not be significant enough. That's why we add the underline. So for this assignment, you're going to do basically what I did here. You'll have an H1 tag for that sort of links. Now, they don't have to be web development links. You can do links on any of your hobbies, anything you're interested in. I want you to have a minimum of three, maximum of five different H2 headings. So I have four color links, programming links. You'll do three to five, and a total of 10 to 15 links to outside pages. Do what I did and actually copy and paste the actual URL or the address into your page.